today we have featured Montana State Northern versus Benedictine from Kansas. Nice take from 32, Kristen Murphy to get her team on the board and strikes first. First game there's always jitters and so it was just everyone focusing on what we wanted. Three pointer for the Ravens off the board. I think we were really prepared for this team. They like to have court offense, and like we really just wanted to speed them up a little bit. Shot clock at eight. Rutledge with the ball. Goes up, tries to draw the foul, no good, but gets her on board once again and gets the second chance points. Ties this game at 48. And last second shot, no good, so this game is going to overtime. I think in overtime we really refocused and did what we needed to do to get the win. Clock at 10. 55-53, Thompson up top with the ball. She goes up, no good on the layup, rebound, and time expired, and the Benedictine Ravens will hold on to this one. They will come out on top, 55-53, in a game that the momentum changed many times. We may have goals at the beginning of the year, and we wanted to make it past the Sweet 16. We just kept going. Another second round game about to get started between Our Lady of the Lake, Texas against Benedictine out of Atchison, Kansas. I think we were really motivated just because we knew that they were the number one team. Determination going into the game. You know, last year we were in the same, same exact situation. We go into the Sweet 16 and we meet the number one team in the nation. Our Lady of Lake has won 30 consecutive games and then in their 31 season is the second time in program history. At the national tournament, everyone's playing top notch, you know, best teams in the country, everyone's going to give you their best game. And so we went in there knowing that and we were just going to give them our best game. Everyone was so fired up. Beating them, uh, what's stopping us next? I think our team was confident going in. You know, I think that we had a good game plan. We knew we weren't going to press them. You know, we pressed the team before us and we knew we didn't want to play up and down with this team. And we knew that we like a fast paced game and they were going to create it by the way they were pressing us. The Ravens know they're going to have to keep up with the Saints. And with plays like that, they're going to do it. Nice play there by Allie Taff. Passes up that opportunity by passing the ball. And now Rutledge with the shot. That's good. And that's a three. Shayla Rutledge, the 5'11 senior, ties the game. Clock ticks down to 10 seconds on the old shot clock. And now a three is up and good. You know, you got to get it from one pass. You got to get it to the second pass. And that's usually going to be a play that's open. And so. Um, and we've got a great unselfish group and we've got players that can all shoot the three. So, um, you know, by making that extra pass, we're finding players open for shots and they were confident enough to make the shots. And now a three is up by Roger Thomas. And she hits it, a three for number three. I think we knew going in that it was going to be really important for us to control the pace of the game. To play the way we did that game, um, I thought Overall, that was probably our best game. She looks ahead to a wide open teammate. How about that? Kristen Murphy found all alone. Doesn't take a shot. Instead, open for a three. Launching it and hitting it is number three. Now Jordan Kramer will attempt a three. And she gets it. Nice job by Kramer hitting a big three there. Now 19.1 ticks left. Coast to coast pass. It's a touchdown. Can they get points off? And they do. Nice job there by Kristen Murphy. Our final of the second game is 71 to 63. Benedictine knocks off the Our Lady of the Lake Saints. Oh my goodness. It was a huge accomplishment. Uh, just to, just to be, say you beat the number one team in the country is a great feeling. Welcome into Silverstein Ice Center's Arena here for quarterfinal number one between Benedictine and Campbellsville. You're the first team to go to the Elite Eight, okay? No team from the Hearts ever been in the Final Four, okay? You're 20 minutes away. We've got to battle every single possession, and we got to make get the rebounds, and let's execute, and let's play together, and let's go do it. Yeah! We're not going to quit. we got to keep coming, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. Are you ready? With the three-pointer. I'm very confident with all my shots and knew what to do to win. Curls into the lane, that shot is blocked by Murphy and out of bounds. I was really focused and I, I realized that like once we lose, we're done. Find the cutting Murphy and it's good. And Murphy's left wide open for three and it's good. He did not leave Murphy open. And Taft's coming down the floor. 
Up top, that layup is up and good. Makes it a three-point ball game again. Kaiser tried to take the charge, but there was no call. Taff has it. She picks it up. Kramer throws it up, and it's good. Kramer just throws something up, and it goes in. Campbellsville, the three-pointer from Fox is no good. Rebounded by Kramer, and Campbellsville's not going to foul, and the Benedictine Ravens are heading to the final four here in Independence. You know, get to the final four, um, to know that we'd, uh, you know, beaten a lot of top teams to get there uh, in the tournament. It was really surreal. Like, it was more than I ever could have hoped for, especially in my senior year. It was something that I have never felt before. Um, it was just a truly incredible experience. Nothing, like, I've never felt that way before. It was so awesome to have, like, that accomplishment with that team and it was awesome. Beating Campbellsville was uh, really exciting. Um, I think it was pretty surreal that, that night. We didn't really realize what we had done. Um, it was really exciting. The key to a lot of our success has been the type of people we're bringing in here. You know, I think that's the biggest key. Uh, I tell them that when I recruit them. You know, we're looking for good people first and foremost. And, uh, you know, of course, good basketball players. But I feel like we're going to make them better basketball players when they get here. But, uh, you know, if you surround yourself with a bunch of great people, you can't help but succeed. You know, and that's kind of what we've done. And I think this year's team was definitely that way. You know, they all got along great on and off the court. Uh, they respect each other, you know, in all, in all facets. And uh, it showed, you know, it showed in how they played. It showed in how they, um, you know, were there for each other. It showed in how they fought all the way to the bitter end. After the Baker game, you know, we lost, which is unfortunate. But um, one of our seniors, our captains, Chayla, um, Obviously, we're really upset, and she just pulled us all together and just told us how proud she was of us and how far we've come and how we should be happy for all the accomplish accomplishments we have, you know, made this year. And um, it just really touched me, and that will forever have a place in my heart.